Hi, welcome to the Georgia Educational Technology Conference. I'm Amanda Fox and today I'll be teaching you guys a workshop on green screen. I think it's kind of funny because my uh, presenter tag is green and you probably see the background through the thing. So uh, hopefully none of you wore green today. Um, if so, we're also going to be talking about V-Scope and using the blank wall or the blank canvas setting. Um, I'm about to show you some ways I've used green screen in my flip lectures and also give you some ideas on how to use the green screen setting without a green screen. And then we're going to get down and dirty and um, get right to it, making our own videos. And I will teach you different styles, techniques, and help you brainstorm ideas for how to integrate it into your curriculum. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Amanda Fox and I'm teaching your workshop on green screen for the foot classroom. Benicio Del Toro said, regarding green screen, you have to make believe that there is something there that is not there and convince the audience as part of acting. And today, we are going to help you make that part of teaching. Wow, I just became we. There are two Well, of technically, me. there are three. If you have seen the movie Multiple Or the Matrix fight scene with, Michael with a million Agent Smiths, then you will appreciate knowing how to clone yourself. Flipping your classroom is a great co-teaching tool. You can teach with yourself. Literally. Now we are going to show you a way to use this cloning tool in PBL. If only I could edit a great hair day, I wouldn't have to wear this hat. So a green screen didn't necessarily have to be used for that last shot. I just used the green screen background to set the mood that we would be discussing the green screen editing option and how to clone. Cloning is typically used using the green screen um, tab in iMovie. Now I'm sitting here with a regular background and I'm going to discuss one of the ways you can incorporate the green screen cloning method into your flip content or for student PBL. I'm going to interview Elsa from Arendelle. She is my mom's favorite or my daughter's favorite princess and I'm trying to score some mom cool points here while also doing a little PD. So hi Elsa. Hi Miss Fox. I'm the protagonist for Frozen. The protagonist, eh? So you are the main character in the story? Who's the antagonist? Well, obviously Prince Hans. <laughs> he was definitely the villain in the show. Okay, thank you, Elsa, um, for visiting. This isn't really an in-depth interview. I just needed some mom cool points and to show off how to use the cloning feature for younger students and flip lectures. It's great to identify parts of a story. Now let's move on to some other options. Being a bee is a joy, is a pain. I am a queen. I am a worker. I'll, I'll gladly, gladly explain. explain. Upon rising, I'm fed by my royal attendants. I'm up at dawn, guarding the hive's narrow entrance. I'm bathed. Then I take out our hives, wanting trash. Then I'm groomed. Then I put an hour making wax without two minutes' time to sit and relax. The rest of my day is quite simply set forth. Then I might collect nectar. From the field three miles north. Or perhaps I'm on larva detail. By feeding the grubs in themselves, wishing I were still helpless and pale. When approaching the personal finance unit in my social studies class, I decided to play the stock market game. And the way I got the students hooked was I created a Hi, Mad Money Parody. So here we are. We are starting our stock market game in class to help make you educated future investors and teach you how to analyze the market through the prism of events. This is my first segment of Rad Money, and I hope through these short didactic segments I can help you understand the buzzwords and jargon of Wall Street so you can decode what the analysts are saying. You may be in middle school, but it's never too early to start investing in your future by learning the language and developing the skills you need to analyze market information. By the end of the next 10 weeks, you will have a commanding knowledge of market-related vocabulary. Sorry, you will have vocabulary tests, and you will have to apply these terms. Yeah, yeah, grow up. But a P.E. ratio will not be the amount of time you spend in physical education compared to the time you spend in your other's apps classes. I've got jokes all day long. They're all horrible. It's my goal that the financial knowledge you gain now will assist you in good future investing habits. So let's get started.
Within the same personal finance unit, I also use green screen to Tabulary deliver lecture change. content. Hi, let's get started with our lightning round. Our first caller is Alexis from fourth period. She's Using students' questions, questions in the videos Alexis, also question? encourages them to ask questions How and gives them ownership them? over some of the content. The world's first stock exchange had roots dating this back This form of lecture essentially delivers content, Bell, but it's it still engaging. The the Students like to watch today. videos Instead to see which peers' questions openly, made the video. I also noticed a spike in questions from the class. More questions asked by with. students actively the participating. American stock exchange this encouraged students in to also preview the uh, material. It was the Philadelphia Stock Exchange, and it was founded in 1790. In 1792, there was a crash in the U.S. bonds market, and that crash led to a group of brokers that would gather under a buttonwood tree in New York, and they would agree to trade with each other. Of all the ways I incorporated green screen into my classroom last year, my favorite was for story-based learning. Your history corner is ringing. Your history corner is ringing. Historia is a strategy-based social studies game. Students help develop the storyline, and then I created the videos to help reinforce the plot. Their active participation in crafting the story, coming up with the jargons and the new terms such as histopod, pulled them into the lecture and into the game. Social studies became the class they were excited to get to and talked about when they left. What threats the historic Babylonians faced in this epoch? The deeper your understanding of Babylon, the better you will be equipped to face them in a historical encounter. Make sure you understand what the Babylonians did to prepare during this time period and try to, try to set up your civilization a little bit better. Within the same story-based curriculum, I use green screen collaboratively with students during class for them to show their research and their progress within the game. Dr. Fox, we both came back with good and bad news. Yeah, the bad news first. We have failed our mission because our military was not strong enough. But we also brought, brought back an ancient Sumerian. Well, hopefully it help us answer questions about the cuneiform language, the first language ever written. Can you understand this? <laughs> what does this symbol mean? That is it with Mrs. Fox. We have to go back now into the portal closed. Thank you, team, for your epoch reflections. As we continue through the ages, you will become better critical thinkers and obtain a deeper understanding of the connection between your research and budget allocation and the final outcome of your epoch. The better you are able to understand and prepare for threats and opportunities, the more capable you will become in subsequent epochs. Your research is a critical component in the Historia Project and will help change the way we shape the world in the future. Historia disengaged. Now that we've talked about how I've utilized green screen within my curriculum in my classroom, it's time to brainstorm some ideas on how you could incorporate it into yours.